Hilo AI recently launched the director model, which helps you create very interesting camera movements. Today, I will be showing how this can be used to create cinematic AI animation. I will also be showing how to use the character consistency model to maintain consistent, realistic facial features and identity across dynamic video content, even with changing camera angles or movements. Here is a sneak peek of what I created with the new Hilo AI Director's model. In the neon shadows of New Tokyo, ghosts like me don't exist. But tonight, they'll remember my name. Are you inside? Clock's ticking, Steel. Then let's not waste time. Mira, what's your status? I am working toward the computer to retrieve the data. Who is there? You stop there. Tell them the ghost was here. The first step in creating your AI animation will be to generate your images. I wouldn't be covering it in this video because in my last video, I've specifically covered how to create images using open art. You could use any AI image generator out there to assess Hilo AI. Just use the link in the description and it brings you to this page and you could sign up for an account. Once you sign up for an account, come to the left hand side. You have create image assets and galleries. We will be focusing on create video. We'll be exploring the director model and the consistent character model specifically. So I'll just click on create video. It opens up to this page where you have image to video text to video and subject reference. I'll be showing how all of this works and how I use it to create the clip you saw earlier. Once you click on image to video here, it gives you the opportunity to upload the image that you want to animate. And here you put in the prompt to animate the image. So here we have the model. We have the first model created by Hilo AI. So we won't be using that and we have the life model. I've covered this life model extensively in the AI animation videos I created earlier. I will link that above as well as in the description box so you can check it out. And then we have the new model, which is the director model, which controls camera movement like a professional director. We'll select that. To use this, we're just going to upload an image. Click on image history and it opens up the images. I'm just going to click on this and then in terms of the prompts, I'm just going to say the lady is running away and planes are chasing after her. In order to make this particular image, like a camera is following the character, we are going to be using a tracking shot and to impute the tracking shot, you come here where you have this and click on it. Once you click on it, it opens up to multiple types of camera shots. Let's start from cinematic shots. Depending on what you want to use this for, you could select the one that represents the theme that you are trying to create. I want tracking shots, so I'll go to free selection, make sure that the cursor is blinking in the right place, then click on it and it adds it as a shot to the prompt and then you could go ahead and click on this to start creating the video of the image. That's the basic way to use the camera mode. I'll be showing you a couple of other modes that I was able to generate as well. The image is done animating and you can see how fluid it looks like. This looks okay to me but it feels like she's just standing on a spot. I wanted her to be running. What I'm going to do is we're going to go back instead of putting the tracking shot after you're just going to put it after the away go back click on tracking shots and it adds it after running away i will click on generate and we will see a different effect while this is generating there's a particular scene that i wanted to animate a scene where the camera pulls in towards the lady where the lady is stunning and looking towards the street where we have the cars passing here we have the lady looking back at us but what the lady turning and looking at the road where the cars are speeding and we want it pulling in and then tilting downward we are seeing what's happening on the road and then click on generate another video that i wanted 
wanted to create is the lady walking and I wanted her walking towards the side to be able to walk on the computer. Here we see that the lady is walking into a high tech room and I describe what the room is about and what she'll be doing. I wanted her to move towards the right and then go to a computer. So what we can do is to see a lady walked. Then in this space, we click on the icon and here choose the right walking because we want the lady to walk towards the right. Click on generate. Let's look at the different ones that we have created. We have this, you could see that this makes more sense now. She's running away from the planes, as you can see, unlike before where it's static. So the location of where you place the camera movement determines what the character is going to do. As you can see, this looks better than the first one. So you'd pay attention to that. So while these images are being animated, let's just go ahead and show you other options that you can use. The next is text to video. What if you want to create, for example, like a skyline of Tokyo in an animation style with some camera movement so we can type Tokyo skyline. And then in terms of the camera movement, let's just do the right circle. This is an interesting shot. And then we would go ahead and click on generate. This is where the lady is walking. You could see how she moved towards the right to a computer and she is looking at it. This is a very good example of how to use a combination of camera shots to create a moment in your animation. This is done. Let's see how it looks. You could see it pulls in and then pans down while she's looking downwards. This looks way better. This is to show that you could generate the video a couple of times to give you what you are looking for. This looks good. This is the one I created with the skyline of Tokyo and you can see how this looks really good. So depending on the scene that you are trying to create, you could use this to show some form of emphasis or intensity. This is how the text to video looks like with camera movement. The last thing that I will talk about would be the subject reference. The subject reference helps to keep the character consistent in terms of facial features and if you want to also maintain the character's dressing of the original image. You need to mention what the clothes look like, otherwise it's going to change the clothes to something else. Okay, so to do that, you click on add character and then you choose the character that you want to add. It's going to add it to this box and then you can add what you want the character to do. For example, we could say the lady is dancing. Let's see what is going to do. Click on generate. While this is generating, there's something here that I need to show you, which is called effects. Once you click on this effect button, it gives you different options. So there are a couple of options here, depending on what you want to use it for. You could see cowboy in the snow. It could be noble banquet and some other ones. Let's just undercover operation that might fit the character is going to replace the prompt here. And then we'll go ahead and click on generate and and wait for both images to complete. This is the result. As you can see, it maintained the facial feature of the character. It maintained the scar that the character has on the right hand side, maintained the hair, but it changed it a little bit from animated to almost realistic. And that's what I noticed when I was testing the character reference. It maintains the facial expression, but you might need to tweak the prompts to make sure it maintains the clothing of the character. But in terms of the facials it maintains the same thing just that the character has like blue eyes which like I said you would have to put specifically within the prompt to make sure that is captured in terms of the effects you could see that the scar on the face is gone and it makes it a bit realistic it has similar features but not entirely but I could say that when he has to deal with just the character consistency, it tends to have most facial similarities. And like I mentioned for the clothes, you'd have to specify the exact clothes to be able to maintain the clothes she has in the initial image if that's what you want to do. This is the process used to animate all the images you saw in the clip that I showed earlier. 
for you to download any of the clips that you like you just click on them and you could see this arrow and you could see with watermark or without watermark you click on without a watermark and it downloads it to your computer then you could go ahead and put everything together in a video editor like CapCut put sound effects, music in the background, and you'd be able to have your AI animation. Hailuo AI is an exciting AI video generator with so many more capabilities that I haven't even scratched the surface of today. And here's the best part. If you're a new user, you'll get 1000 bonus points just for signing up, plus 100 points every single day just for logging in. That's free credit you can start using right away to test out all its powerful features. If you want to see how to use the live model I mentioned earlier to create insane AI animations, click on this video and I will see you there.